Hello everyone and welcome back to First Look. This is our seventh episode and we're taking a look at some WWE stuff here. So we're going to jump right in. This is a brand new WWE Legends Elite Collection Series 10 of the Legends. Brutus the Barber Beefcake or in some cases the Effin Barber as he's been referred to on... Uh, the Conrad Thompson Network of Podcasts, and uh, this is a beautiful figure. He has uh, got some alternate hands, and he's in the yellow leopard print, and uh, his tights are yellow with white boots, and uh, he's got the uh, purple sleeves with tiger stripes, or would be yellow tiger stripes. I'm not sure if that depends how you want to refer to that as, but uh, yes. He's got the little bow tie you could kind of see in there. I don't know if uh, we can dig right into that, but comes with a pair of sunglasses and a beautiful WWF World Tag Team title. And uh, obviously they can't put the old WWF logo on it, but let's take a look at some artwork of the barber there with his bow tie. Uh, full picture here. Series 10, as we said. Brutus Beefcake, World Tag Team Champion, WWE Hall of Fame and Duck. D memorable moment. Excuse me, memorable moment before he was cutting and strutting. Brutus Beefcake tag team with Greg the Hammer Valentine as an arrogant member of Luscious Johnny Valiant's dream team. The duo won the tag team championship in 1985 against the U.S. Express and defended the titles against the stacked tag team division until their loss to the British Bulldogs at WrestleMania II. Beefcake continued his villainous ways with, until Valentine and Val Valiant turned their backs on him at WrestleMania 3, making way for Brutus to become the barber. So before anybody says, hey, there's no barber on it, right there, talks about him becoming the barber. So as you can see in this other series, this has been a staggered series, and that's due to a lot of rumors of the... Uh, ships that are containing a lot of merchandise here to the U.S. Uh, I believe Vader started popping up first, and he was hard to find at first. Cena then became readily available, seeing him everywhere. Um, they kind of were at the same time. The pre-orders for both Beefcake and Diamond Dallas Page sold out. I stupidly canceled it because I had changed my mind and regretted it ever since. So Diamond Dallas Page, easily right now, the hardest to find figure with Beefcake a close second. Uh, although you'd have a hard time finding Cena or Vader right now, even though they were plentiful at a time. And that uh, goes pretty much the same for like the Scott Halls and Bam Bam Bigelows, which were from the previous, or uh, I'll say subsequent series, depending. I think uh, Series 11. So yeah, 10s are still kind of coming out, although it's just weird. Uh, there's been some rumors that Ted DiBiase is still kind of showing up from friends of mine. Uh, but I know he's been long gone since seen on the shelf. So this barber, like I said, very cool or dream team version of uh, Brutus Beefcake. Uh, pardon me because he comes with the title. Uh, Mattel really did a great job here. Uh, the variant Chase is blue. So if you see the blue on the shelf, snag him. Uh, this baby is, as of record time, is in the $45, $50 range. Uh, I'd imagine the blue would be at least about $20 more than that. So... Um, that's just a guess, so it could be even more. So, Brutus, uh, just kind of give a little rundown like we've been trying to do on our first look series. This is his 1985 uh, Dream Team version here. And he's cleaned up a little bit. I've been using some hand sanitizer, alcohol, trying a little bit of that, different things on these without making them too sticky and stuff with the cleanup. But um, he was definitely filthy because he was gotten a later collection lot that I had acquired. But... Um, didn't really have him as a kid. I had Hammer, but not him. So it was a pretty cool addition. And as people can see here, the S and D. This is in 1991, but he's a foreign card version of the Barber. Brutus the Barber comes with the shears. And uh, I don't know if this is Brazilian card. Because uh, it says here in the upper right hand corner, the card's a little bit beat up. Uh, I cannot read that in Spanish. Or Portuguese. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could tell. You could see the writings in, not in English. Could be Portuguese, could be a Brazilian card, Spanish card. So, um, yes, 
I don't know what these are going for. This is not in perfect shape. It's got its flaws anyways. But I didn't have a barber card carded. <clears throat> Excuse me. I haven't had a barber on a blue card uh, on a card. I have him loose. And shout out to my buddy Brad who hooked me up with the shears to the one I did have. So, very cool. Good friend. So, yes. This is Brutus Beefcake. And uh, just a little bit of rundown over the years. The barber's. And slash Dream Team version figures. And uh, he is out. If you can find him, I'd snag him. He's pretty cool. Uh, he goes really well with the Hammer figure. Although what was weird about the Hammer's Hall of Fame figure. And they may have had a version that did come with the belt. Or maybe regular version. He comes with a shin guard. Which I thought was a little bit later in a singles run. And it doesn't really match up. I mean, although you could put a Hammer version with his uh, robe. And it'll still look well next to the Brutus Beefcake version here. Although I don't believe that came with a belt. So I'm not sure if they're planning to do another hammer. But that was more reminiscent of his feud with Ronnie Garvin. And slash almost late singles run that I think Hammer eventually went on before he was gone. But yeah, so maybe they're going to do uh, a, a version of Hammer to match this one. Um, I love the old two-pack. So it would have been cool to see the Dream Team two-pack. Possibly the Johnny V figure. But... For now, this is all you're getting, folks. Uh, again, very cool figure, and hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at the Barber figures throughout the years. You're looking at uh, 2020s, you're looking at 90s, you're looking at the 80s there. And, uh, yeah, he hasn't had a terrible amount of figures. I'm sure I'm missing maybe a couple, maybe from Jax or anything that I don't have readily available or if I own it all. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed a little bit look, so... Again, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe, comment if uh, you have a question or anything you want to see, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.